We're speaking with Archbishop Timothy Dolan here on The Catholics Next Door. Well, along the lines of asking why, one thing that I've always admired about the people of Haiti is their immense joy that they seem to to resonate, even though they're in these horrible circumstances. And now you're hearing a lot of people asking questions. And it's it's the typical question. Anytime something bad happens, they say, well, why does God allow something like this to happen to good people? I mean, here's very joyful people. How, how do you, as, as a shepherd to the church, Archbishop Dolan, how do you answer people who say, why does God allow things like this to happen? Well, one of, the, one of the things I do is sometimes admit that I share that same sense of consternation. So if somebody, as people legitimately at a, at a grinding time like this, will say, why, how can this happen in, in the hands of a benevolently uh, providential God? Um, I say, you know, I have the same question. I worry, too. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think God's only begot- begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, wondered the same thing when from the cross he yelled out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? It is a question as old as, as uh, humanity. It is a question that, uh, that, that cries to God for an answer. And about although I say as a shepherd, as a pastor, I might not have a glib answer, what I can assure you is that there is indeed an answer. And that while it may not be obvious to us right now, in God's omnipotent and eternal plan, there is a reason. And one day it will be, it will be um, uh, clear to us, maybe not in this life, but in eternity. I also think, too, that, you know, we, we, um, I don't think we should be sh- uh, shy or embarrassed about saying God himself cries. Mm. Jesus Christ himself cries at this. This is the result of an imperfect world. This is a, a St. Paul tells us that all creation groans in agony as it waits for God's final redemption. And we, we personally are, un, we personally are um, imperfect beings. That's why we have sin. That's why we have evil. That's why we have violence. That's why we have injustice. And creation itself is imperfect. There's some rupture at the core of the universe that, that, there's, that brings about evil and that brings about terrible destruction that we've just seen. With, um, with, even with faith, it's very difficult to accept. But without faith, the only answer is nihilism. The only answer is utter despair. And we can't allow that to happen, as the people of Haiti would tell us. They yeah. are, Jennifer, as you just observed, they are remarkably beautiful, joyful, resilient people. The, the nuncio the other night said um, that when he went out after, after the nunciature was leveled and as he walked the destruction of the Port-au-Prince, he said it was, like, it was like the pictures of 9-11. It was just dust and the smell of death. And he came across a building where a man was screaming for, for some help. So he went over, and the man was caught in rubble. The only thing sticking out of the rubble was his head. Uh, the nuncio could do nothing um, except sit with him and soothe him and pray with him. And he had carried a, a little bottle of water with him and at least uh, give him some water. He could not rescue him. There were mm. huge boulders all over. But the nuncio said that man... If if there was a man that had the, that would have the right to curse God and give up hope, it would be this man. But he's the man that looked at, at the nuncio and says, "Pray with me, and uh, commend me to God, and <clears throat> promise me that you will that you will try to find my family." And so that these resilient, uh, remarkably faithful people can teach us that while we may not know the reason, there is a reason. And that if when things don't seem to make much sense, we know that they make infinitely less sense without a childlike uh, uh, tug that there is indeed a providentially loving God uh, who uh, who will make sense out of all this. Well, Archbishop Timothy Dolan, thank you so much for all My the work honor. that you're doing with renewed, Catholic Relief Services and everything else. Renewed just, gratitude to you, Greg and uh, Jennifer, and don't let us forget this, okay? We're gonna we're we gonna won't. keep reminding people <laughs> of it. Uh, it's just something that I'm I'm having a hard time shaking it. So that's telling me that the we need to keep talking about it for as long as we possibly can I'm to get proud some awareness. Of, I'm proud of our Catholic channel with getting this word out. Okay. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you, Archbishop Timothy Dolan. Bye-bye.